There's your latest briefing for the upcoming and ongoing snow across much of western and central Wyoming. You see you have a lot of advisories and uh, warnings in effect. The warnings are in the pink, much of the area under advisory. Those are in the purple. I'm not going to go through every one. A lot of different start and stop times. So if you want to see the details on that, go to our website, weather.gov slash RIW. Next thing I want to show you, this is one mild depiction, as to how it thinks the snow is going to move through the area starting at 8 p.m. tonight and heading through after midnight. I want to caution you, this model is not perfect. Don't think that exact spot is going to be over my house at exactly that time. But it does give a pretty good idea of the progression of the snow across the area as it moves in and comes out. Now, for a specific snowfall, how much are you going to get? There's our latest snowfall map. You can see highest areas of those favored uh, northerly upslope areas, Casper, Lander, also Thermopolis. Least snow falling across uh, the eastern Bighorn Basin, very less than an inch there. Across the west, about 6 to 12 inches. Across the mountains, about 3 to 6 inches in the valleys. And even around Buffalo, 2 to 3 inches, but a lot of wind in that area, so it could make travel conditions rather difficult. And one more chart I brought up for you here. Time to get the maximum impacts as well as the specific snowfall amounts for some of the population centers. Again, I'm not going to read this whole thing. It'll make the video way too long. I'm going to stop here let you read this for just a minute. Find your favorite spot. Okay, that looks good enough there. And one more thing, our resources once again for weather, road conditions, and our popular webcams by round. Be safe, everybody.